name is Sarah Coley with the Capture Parish Public Library. Today I'm going to show you how to guess how many jelly beans can fit into this jar. But before I do that, I wanted to tell you about this book about estimating that you can find on Tumble Math. This book is called Counting on Frank, written by Rod Clement. This book is about a boy who loves to use his brain to figure out all different types of math facts. For instance, his dog Frank can fit into his bedroom 25 times and a humpback whale can fit into his house 10 times. This book is full of fun math facts and math activities. Today for math activity, I'm going to show you how many jelly beans can fit into this jar. There are several different methods and I'll show you a few today. For this method, we will multiply the number of jelly beans on the bottom layer by the number of layers in the jar. To do this, we need to know the amount of jelly beans on the bottom layer of the jar and the number of layers in the jar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we know there are 24 jelly beans on the bottom layer of the jar, and there are 11 layers in the jar. When we multiply 24 by 11, we find that we have 264 jelly beans. However, it's a good idea to add in an extra few jelly beans to your total number, and it's especially important if the jar isn't completely cylindrical. I am going to add six extra jelly beans so that we have a clean number of 270 jelly beans. Method one shows that I have 270 jelly beans in the jar. In this method, we will subtract the weight of the jar with the jelly beans from the weight of an empty jar to get the weight of all the jelly beans. We will then divide the weight of all the jelly beans from the weight of one jelly bean to get the number of all the jelly beans in the jar. What we already know from a quick Google search is that one jelly bean weighs 1.1 gram. What we need to know is how much does an empty jar weigh and how much does a jar full of jelly beans weigh. To find this out, you can use a scale. Check to make sure your units for your scale is in grams. The empty mason jar weighs 256 grams. The mason jar full of jelly beans weighs 634 grams. Now we know that the weight of the empty jar is 256 grams and weight of the jar with the jelly beans is 634 grams. If we subtract the two, we find that the weight of the jelly beans is 378 grams. To find out how many jelly beans are in the jar, we can divide 378 grams of all the jelly beans in the jar by the 1.1 gram of one jelly bean we find that there's 343.63 jelly beans. Since all our jelly beans are whole and not fractioned, we round down to 343 jelly beans. Method two shows that there are 343 jelly beans. For method three, we will be taking the averages from the first two methods. To get the average, add the guesses from method one and two. We will then divide by the number of methods we used. Adding our previous guesses together, we get the number 613. We will divide that number by 2 since we are using guesses from two methods. We get the number 306.5. We cannot have half a jelly bean, so we will round down to 306. Method 3 claims that we have 306 jelly beans. So how many jelly beans are in this jar? There are actually 300 jelly beans in this jar. And while none of our methods were correct, most of them were pretty close. So which method did you like the best and which ones are you going to use in the future? Are there any methods that we did not discuss that you wanted to hear about? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to learn more about estimating, go to Tumble Math. Tumble Math is a free resource the library offers. It has picture books to help you learn math in a fun and easy way. Not only is Counting on Frank on there, but we have other books as well. We have a book called Let's Estimate. It's a book written by David A. Adler and illustrated by Edward Miller. We also have a fun book called Teddy Bear Math, and it's written by Barbara Barberi McGrath and illustrated by Tim Nehoff. 
To get to TumbleMath, go to calcasielibrary.org. Click the Resource tab at the top and go to the A to Z list. Scroll down to the T's and you will find TumbleMath. TumbleMath has a great selection of books for grades K through 5th with subjects in estimation, volume, measurement, and many more. Stay tuned to our Facebook for more videos like this.